Hello, this is Union Pacific Reviews here. Um, I did get the ditch light working on my ES44. Um, I got some new train cars as well. And there's this locomotive here, which is the uh, uh, Challenger from Rio, the Rio Grande Challenger. It's very interesting. It's die cast metal, fully metal. Definitely very heavy. There's a very interesting way that these turn here. So we turn the axle here. Whoops, try not to derail it. <laughs> or not derail it, but make it fall over. And the headlight works. I picked this up for uh, $30. Very, uh, very cheap. And it does work, it just needs to get lubricated. I need to order stuff for that. Oops. Um, the coal here... The coal is actually real, real, real coal. Someone took the time to put real rocks in there and color them. And this is also die-cast metal. Now, someone said um, that the tender is wrong and it should be the Union Pacific 844 and the other Challenger tender on this thing instead of having three axles. But, uh, I don't know. It's got, uh, I don't think it's got any cab detail. I can't really check because it's screwed. It's actually got a bolt screwed together right there. And there's a wire there, so I can't really take it apart to see cabin detail. Alright, moving on to the uh, this over here, what we were talking about earlier. And you can see the ditch lights are working. Now, let me show you what I meant a long time ago on the Union Pacific Review of the ES44 on the working ditch lights and... Let they flash. I find that really cool that uh, that does that. Now Union Pacific does not do that anymore. They do not do that in trains nowadays. All right. Moving over here, we have this nice Burlington Northern train car. Tanker. This is an Athern Genesis. Um, we have this one, which is a sugar company, which I believe still runs today. Which is D Dango Sugar, or however you say that. And then we have this tanker here, which says, uh, whatever, uh, cons, uh, whatever that says first word, <laughs> uh, gas supplies. It's uh, got plastic wheels, not metal wheels. And then we have that one, which I'll do a separate video on eventually. Alright, I'm going to move the train up to show you the other train cars now. Yes, 44 is struggling with this load, just for the base engine. I picked up some railroad ties, and I thought it'd be an interesting idea to put them inside of the gondola here, and give it a bit of realism. Union Pacific work train, because that's technically what this is that I made. All right, moving forward, let's go to slower speed this time, not to derail. That one I do with some Legos, because why not? Crooked. Military, Walters, Athern Genesis. I picked that up somewhere else. Oh, great, the train car is detached that I wanted to show y'all. These ones do not like this coupler. Very, This one's very low. Coupler on this one's very low. So not very good. So we have this old uh, ATSF car here with uh, a um, tender. Whoops. Zoomed in way too much there. This tender here. It's uh, damaged a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Picked this up at a hobby shop for $5 for this train car, I think it was. Very good deal. This one was $10, and it does, it does work. So it raises up. You can turn it to the side. You can pick up the log on... You can do this, and that, and then, 
I'll get, uh, I'll, I'll find something to compare here. Hold on. You one moment. Okay, so I found some, uh, Lego logs here. And let's see if it works. Go ahead and put, uh, go ahead and raise this up here. That's not raising. That's how you mess it up. Let me go grab a tripod or something. Alright, I grabbed a tripod or something. Alright, now let's see if we can actually make this work here. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can make it work. Gotta make sure not to... Uh... Oh, it's too far away. Okay. Okay. Okay, it does work. Except the thing is being ridiculous and it does not want to raise. Ah, come on, you're made for Lego. You're Lego. Come on, whatever. You, you guys get the point. It doesn't work very well. And apparently this thing can come off. I'm not sure if the new ones can do that or not. I mean, it's something, I guess. But I'll just package up there and I'll just uh, take this load off here. Come on, camera. You want to put down anymore? Jesus, that's way too far. I got this thing too tight. Loosen it. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, I'm loose. I'm screwing the wrong thing in there. We go. Okay, that's a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to unload this and put these logs on here. Because why not? There we go. That'll work. Alright. Well, that's it for the review. I may, for whatever reason, decide to uh, do the uh, review on this one here in a minute or so. So, yeah. I gotta get the thing set up, so let me go get the setup stuff. Um, we are going to try to run it. I'm afraid of breaking it because the noise it makes is just terrible. I think it needs to be lubricated, if y'all can hear. Oop, I forgot to take ES44 off the track. It's not very smart. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. Oh, the tanker derailed. Great. That's just what I wanted. Hold on, give me two seconds. Alrighty, now I fixed my mistake. Okay, let's see if it runs. I don't know, it sounds very bad. I'm gonna be quiet for this one. It doesn't sound very good, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's not very good sounding at all. Or right here, not see. Yeah, I'm gonna stop running it before I burn something in it. But it is a great locomotive. It's a very heavy locomotive.